Hey guys, how's it going? Andrew here, Enough Said Cards on Friday evening. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, it's been a little while since I made a video and um, I have a few that I've been meaning to make and just haven't had a chance. Uh, so I hope to get those done and posted in the next week or so. Uh, but I had one item that I wanted to show you tonight and this is something that I bought off of eBay that came in within the last couple of weeks. And um, I have a few cards that kind of go along with it that I will show also. Um, but let's get right into this. And this is a real photo postcard that shows the Pittsburgh Pirates um, at spring training in Hot Springs, Arkansas. And um, the eBay listing said that this was from 1911. Uh, I did a little bit of research and found one example of this that's slabbed by SGC. And uh, that ex example um, says that it's 1910. So not 100% sure, uh, but definitely around that time period based upon the uh, players that are on this the team here. And um, uh, this is a, like I said, a real photo postcard. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with real photo postcards, it's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. This is a photograph. It's developed as a photograph as opposed to being printed. Um, but they were made to be sent like postcards. And these were really popular around that time period. Um, and uh, the Pittsburgh Pirates had spring training in Hot Springs, Arkansas uh, for an extended period of time, many years. Um, and um, other teams also had spring training in Hot Springs, including the Red Sox. And I've shown some of my Red Sox postcards uh, from related to spring training there in, in Hot Springs. And you can see the postmark here. Uh, unfortunately, the entire thing is not there, but you can see part of Hot Springs and March 25th, it looks like, which, of course, would be right in the middle of spring training. Unfortunately, you can't see the year. Uh, but like I said, it, it, it's either 1910 or 1911, I believe. And this was sent to someone named T.P. Lowe in Oklahoma. And the message says, hello, T.P. This is a picture of the Pittsburgh baseball team. Please send me a card. Best wishes to all. This was taken here. I can't really make out the name. Um, and under that, it says address of baseball club, maybe. Not sure. Um, but I kind of just came across this as I was looking on eBay. And, uh, you know, for those of you that are familiar with my channel and, and the things that I collect, I you know I kind of love stuff like this and immediately was drawn to this and uh, it was an auction and I just decided I was going to try to get it and um, just kind of really like the the um, the image and um, obviously there's some great players on this team um, including of course Honus Wagner um, who's there on the far right in the middle and a couple other Hall of Famers. There is um, Fred Clark right here. And Barney Dreyfus, uh, who was the owner of the team in the middle there. Um, I think Max Carey was on this team. He was a really young player then. I need to do a little bit more research, but I think that might be Max Carey there on the left, on the bottom. Uh, then a couple other notable players, uh, Tommy Leach right there, and um, Babe Adams, the pitcher, right there in the front. And um, apologize for the glare there. It's a little, coming, not really focusing too well, but um, in hand, th this is, the image is like crystal clear. You can see the details are fantastic. And... Um, like I said, this was an auction. I bid what I, you know, I really was trying to win it. I bid what I thought was a pretty strong bid and was able to get it actually for a little bit less than my max, um, which was great. Let's see if I can get the light better. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, 1910 Pittsburgh Pirates real photo postcard from spring training in Hot Springs, Arkansas with the great Honus Wagner. And I did a little bit of um, 
searching on the internet for TP Lowe, and I found um, someone by that name, Thomas Lowe, and he was listed in this article as TP Lowe. Uh, so I can only assume it was the same person. And um, the article, it was an obituary in the uh, newspaper a couple years after this. And Mr. Lowe was killed um, after he was kicked in the stomach by a cow that he was milking. And it said he uh, suffered for a few days before he died. So um, it's not a pleasant way to go, I'm sure. Um, but there we go. Pittsburgh Pirates postcard, and then figured it was a good opportunity for me to show my um, Honus Wagner cards. And here is a 1910 Tip Top Bread Honus Wagner. This is the D322 set. And I did a video on this a while back, and I obtained this in a trade. Pretty tough card. I really love the image. Um, obviously, similar to... The T206 that um, I obviously will never own. Wagner, World's Champions. They won the World Series in 1909. And uh, some of the players that I just mentioned are listed on the back here. So that's the D322. And here's my E103 Williams Caramel Wagner, also from 1910. And this is a PSA 3. Really love this card. And this one's a blank back. So shout out to all uh, my uh, Pittsburgh Pirate friends out there. Uh, John Mangini and Bob Lewis. Uh, Pete Makita, I know, likes the Pirates also. Uh, that's all I got tonight, guys. Like, like I said, a couple more videos I'm going to try to make in uh, the next few days. I have another very exciting card that I obtained uh, that I'm looking forward to showing you. So be on the lookout for that and um, a few other things as well. Take care guys. Have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.